How to be a writer number three. Um, okay, so Justin TV, by the way, Justin TV. It's I'm more interested in how people react to it all than because there's a chat option available. So you can literally experience it while people are experiencing it too, and that's what is fascinating to me. It's just like, well, how do these people react to this phenomenon? Uh, that's what I, as a writer, look for. I, I look. I want to see. Well, who are these people witnessing this event? How are they reacting to it? How did you know? In these people's minds, when um, Aragon gets up there and, and they crown him king, you know, and they're standing and they're like, they're, they're all in awe of this, you know, thing. Why is that? Well, because they have just had an epoch. They have just had a, a total change in uh, their their lifestyle, the way their 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 uh, life is ruled. And what it is is that um, they're being rejoined by these people who are, like, considered godmen. Um, and they're actually, because he had a son by an elf, that was even, you know, that was even more, you know, uh, prestigious and, like, sagacious, whatever, like, powerful. Because um, what it meant is that because, they, you know, these people were ruled by godmen who were, like, these half-elven, you know, people, um, they, they, they tended to be more prosperous, they tended to be uh, more uh, militarily aggressive too. Um, that w I think that was like what was noted in the Silmarion of uh, J.R.R. Tolkien, you know, which is the prehistory of Lord of the Rings, is that you know th these people, uh, you know, all these Elven people were, were peaceful people. So, you know, men were a bit more violent, and but the thing is, they needed violent men because they had this violent enemy who were the orcs. So that was kind of the, the thing was that. Elves realize, well, you know what? We need you humans. You know, you need we need you men as buffers. You know, and uh, and the dwarves were just kind of like, well, they're just kind of this funky, you know, thing that's kind of fit in somewhere. Uh, but ultimately, that's kind of what it was. Is um, you know, men were going to have shorter lifestyles, but as a result, or shorter life spans, but as a result, they would live more heroic lives. So they, you know, it's like if you if you're going to live your such a long life. What are you going to do with it? You know, like, well, you might as well do something good with it, you know, because, uh, yeah, that's how long you live. And um, what they, but the for men, they were they died shortly as compared to the other people, and so as a result, they're always, you know, fractious. They're always like, if somebody could get, you know, some wealth or some power, they would go for it. And that's how even like oh, there's a lot of men, you know, a lot of more of the primitive uh, species of men uh, lived. And that's something else that Tolkien was interest was you know, noted was that there were different species of men amongst the men, you know, but they're like, they're really like tribes and how they lived. But, uh, you had a tribe living in amongst the land of uh, Gondor. So, I mean, this, you know, that's Tolkien, man. Tolkien! You know, he was a pretty good guy. That's, that's where he laid it down. The details. And that's what I, as a writer, look for. Details. I like, you know, I like to understand, it's like, well, what was the force of history? What were you know, people thinking? What were people doing? Um, that, and it's like where another source I get for writing stories is history. Because um, what I'm doing right now in my book is... Oh, that's right, I should talk about the book. Okay, so how to be a writer. And uh, what I like to write about is fantasy, war, uh, political stuff. I like to kind of, you know, and really it's not so much fantasy as in whatever fantasy, but it's like, eh, yeah, there's some whatever fantastical elements, you know, because um, I like to explore different things, and, and some of those things are like, well, government. Um, so this is something else I was discussing with my dad. I said, like, you know, I've been trying to think of a system of government that uh, could be used. And uh, because, you know, this is also kind of one of the things about, like, well, uh, could we could we change the government of America? And that's I think you know what some people uh, you know ask or question and some sometimes like that. And it's like, well, how do you do it? And how could you you know conceivably do it? And um, because I mean, it, it seems that what we have is pretty good. And I came up with the whole thing, which um, yeah, I'm gonna post sooner or later. But um, one of the things I've been thinking about was in a future story I'm gonna write, I'm gonna have. Um, in a, a military, you know, military force that turned mercenary, um, and they finally decided to settle down on a piece of land, 
and uh, they were they're kicking around the idea like, well, we need to organize a government, and, and it's like, well, he's the general. Why just why don't we just make him king? You know, and he was like, you know, we 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 joined this this legion to get away from the kings, guys. You know, when they disbanded us, we could have gone home, but we realized, you know, th these kings they don't care about us. You know, they didn't care about us when we joined. They didn't care about us when we were in. They didn't care about. They don't care about us now. But they don't need us no more. These guys have never cared about us, and and they realize, you know, and they all realize that. So so they go to another uh, land, and um, you know, say, well, well, we'll hire ourselves out as mercenaries, and uh, these guys got a lot of land. They get, they'll pay a lot of money, um, and you know, they're. There's enough of them there, you know, kind of thing. And they just, like, really thought, really, well, let's just go somewhere. Like, who knows? Opportunity will probably open up for us, you know. And um, so they go, and they, they went and became mercenaries. And, you know, because there's such an elite military force, uh, you know, they kicked ass. And then they weren't needed anymore. So they just kind of roamed around and then joined another group. And they you know, fought them, you know, and fought back. And yes, and they're like, oh, my, you guys turn on us. Like, we're mercenaries. We get paid to fight, you know. What do you expect? And uh, you know, and they, guys, and they whip these guys' ass, you know, <laughs> and, it's just, and then the, you know the mercenaries weren't needed anymore, so they just roam around. They went to the third you know, country, and they were, and then they were hired. You know, they fought against them and stuff like that, and um, um, and everybody just you know, it's like after all, just, everybody's just like you know, they just don't like these guys. <laughs> you know, they didn't like the mercenaries because you know the mercenaries are just so damn good for one thing, but it's also it's like you know, even the mercenaries realize. Like, these guys just really don't like us, you know. I mean, and I guess it's like I think you know some of the mercenaries even get captured and and just uh, without you know they didn't question them, they didn't do nothing. They just you know flayed the guys alive and you know strung them up on crucifixes, you know, and, and like on top of a you know huge mountain so everybody could see them, you know. And it's just like and it's, oh man, these, no, these guys really don't like us anymore. And so it's you know what are we gonna do? And it's like well. We could keep going that direction, you know, but it's like we got a lot of this country to get through and. and and what and our contracts just about ready to you know give up and uh, um, so I was going to work into the story that well an emissary was sent to re renegotiate an extension to the contract but uh, it was really like you know shafting them on money and, and these guys said you know what no man you know no man we like uh, we, we're just going to sit here and fight but the thing is send the reinforcements when the king when is the king going to send you know guys to occupy this land. Because an army's coming, and they're like, "Well, we can't." You know, that's why we need you to stay and fight. You know, because you know you fought, you know, you've taken over this land, and you really need to hold it. And the guys, the mercenaries, said, "You know, we took this land once before, and we took the same land twice. And we, you know, we've been talking to the locals that live here, and you know, you same, you guys keep taking this, this spot of land, which uh, I was going to have it like." The only other landform I had in mind was that, well, it's kind of a ridge, and it's, um, there's a ridge, you know, it's like, there's a mountain range, a ridge, and a, a, a fertile speck of land, and there's a river that runs along the mountain range, and, uh, they, you know, because of the currents, it would feed a lot of sediment onto this, you know, this space of land. As a result, the land is real fertile. Um... And the people living there, you know, it, it's it's pretty good, but it's also, it's like, it's just on a, a key point of land, because there's also uh, the waterway and some other stuff. So it's like, it's, I, I needed it to be that, because uh, the result is that these guys, these mercenaries, are going to take over the land, and, but they're able to get wealthy. And the way they're able to get wealthy is that they, they realize and they discover um, just how to turn this, this piece of land into a real mercantile center. Um, so, like I said, I mean, this is, that's just how I think about writing, you know, that's how I do the writing. Or this, that's how I, I plan my writing, is that I don't think of it as, oh, it's, they need to go on a quest and defeat the dragon. No, no, no. It's, you know, I'm a guy, you're my friend, let's go take some land. And, you know, just, you know, kill anybody that gets in our way. And, yeah. So the other idea is that, you know, my heroes, my good guys, are not fully good guys, you know. And, you know, you'll see them kill people, and they're just... And they realized, you know, we have to do this. So that's what I got in the story as well, is that, you know, these kids just become cold-blooded killers, in a way. Um, and who's anybody, anybody who's sharp on it, they were going to pick up, wait a minute, it's like they're playing a first-person shooter game together. They, you know, 